Hey Steve, do you like your new set? See the wonder-stricken child, hear the elders' wise and so wouldn't you love to know? Wouldn't you love to know? Wouldn't you love to Hello, everybody. Um, welcome back to uh, the Loft Sessions. This is episode 13, um, or should I say the award-winning Loft Sessions. Uh, last week, this got sent to us. Uh, we won an award by the Canadian International Faith and Family Film Festival for Best New Media this year uh, for this, this particular um, online uh, concert series. So we're really, really proud of it. Um, so I shared this with Jason Johnson, who, who's our videographer, um, who sets you know the the whole s s thing and does the switching and the and the camera work and Dave Zaglinski, my manager and sound man doing the audio and then Ken, and Elizabeth Knight who created this this little environment for us to shoot in so uh, just grateful it's fun. Um, uh, before I go on, also I need to point out that I have a brand new capo. Uh, this was a gift from John Stackhouse, and John didn't kind of objected to the fact that I used to use this ugly green capo, and he thought such a beautiful guitar needs um, uh, um, a, a beautiful capo. And so he, he sent me to a site online and told me to pick a nice one, and then he bought it for me. So a new award and a new capo, we're ready to go. <laughs> That's Oh Love. Uh, the lyrics are kind of, it's kind of a mashup of two, um, two scriptures, Hebrews 1, 
stuff from in there, <laughs> and uh, Psalm 8, lines from in there. And uh, I, I used to have this uh, Bible that was a, a daily reader, and, and every day it would give you um, something from the Old Testament and the Psalms and something from an epistle in the New Testament uh, and or something from the Gospels. And this one particular day, Hebrews 1 and Psalm 8 were matched up, and uh, uh, somehow I heard melody and the song came. So it's a... Uh, it seems appropriate um, uh, for our, our, our day right now. Anyway, uh, I, I don't have a real theme for today. Um, I, I, I was just thinking about some songs I haven't done for a while that I, I like singing. Um, so um, this is an old one. This is kind of... What key is this in? <laughs> That's probably okay. So this is an old one. Boy, I would have written this, uh, well, when my kids were very little, because um, uh, it references um, my early marriage and uh, the first two of our children, so obviously our third wasn't born yet. So this is, I don't know, 30 years old or so. Um, it's called That's All Right With Me. I remember waking up one morning and... Uh, Life was very, very complicated, much more stressful than I, th- I thought it was going to be when I was a younger person. I remember when I was young thinking that, that uh, I couldn't wait to be an adult, I'd be free, I could get to do what I wanted, you know, all that kind of stuff. And then life ends up being so much more complicated. Um, and uh, at a certain point, you have to decide if you want to deal with the reality or not. Um, but it's not just complicated, it's also good, um, and and so I, it, I kind of wrapped it all up in this uh, little little ditty um, here. Um, it's my fir- I think it was my first attempt at write, writing something that that borderlines bluegrassy kind of a stuff. So hope you like it. It's not a tale of never-ending joy Nor trials beyond what one can tell My childhood seemed like an eternity Each morning ruled by education bells My youth was full of possibilities But only few have had their fill side of town each day she leaves for work by nine her smile is sweeter than an April shower her wrath is hotter than July (laughs) they say a couple can together be with age a cup of love refined although I love my darling tenderly this growing old may take some time Just a babe of one year old My girl is but a child of four Both born with eyes of blue and hair of gold Suppose maybe yet we'll still have more They say a father's love is suffering And this day already I can tell Although I love my children tenderly Sometimes you know raising kids is hell has never been a winning lottery whoever promised that it would will cry each time a sorrow comes to mind will laugh each opportunity will learn to celebrate what comes to pass you know that that's all right with me 
We'll cry each time a sorrow comes to mind. We'll laugh each opportunity. We'll learn to celebrate what comes to pass. You know that that's all right with me. Maybe perhaps I did that a bit too high. It would have been better down here a bit. But um, <clears throat> it's funny. I, I, my, I'm, I'm getting older. Obviously, my 60th birthday is coming up in in a, in a few weeks, and uh, just f- feeling it in my body. And uh, I'm, I'm learning that I don't have quite the range I used to have, but I keep forgetting, and I and that I need to lower some of my keys. So I'm, I'm you know, it is what it is. Um, I, I I did that song because the other day I was I have I have, I have a brand new. Um, um, uh, granddaughter Vivian, and um, she's about four, four and a half months old now. And I had her; uh, she was lying on the on the floor, and I was I was in a chair, leaning over and and singing her songs. And she was kind of back dancing <laughs> as I was singing. And I just uh, all of a sudden I recalled, oh my goodness, it's been quite a long time since uh, I wrote this particular song because uh, my youngest would have been around the same age. And so. Uh, we become uh, nostalgic and, and reflective as we get older and, and realize a lot of time has passed and how much goodness um, has has come um, with that as well. So really grateful. Um, here, here's a song. Um, if you've been following my career at all, uh, you know I'm a bit of a Bruce Coburn fan. I think I would have been a very different person and a very, very different musician had I not discovered Bruce Coburn in my mid-teens. My, my, my singer-songwriter buddy, Joe Braun, turned me on to him. And uh, it took me a while to acquire a taste for Bruce Coburn. Um, but once I did, um, I, I have bought every album. I've, I've poured over every lyric. <laughs> I've learned his songs. I did a whole album of, of my favorite Bruce Coburn songs. It was called My Dinner with Bruce, which never happened, by the way. Um, and <laughs> it's not like it happened. But this is a gooder. This is uh, and this is a great, great song uh, uh, for our season that we're in right now. It's called "Pacing the Cage." I remember when I first heard this. This put me on the floor. I was um, I was in a, in a time of extreme or profound. Uh, the only way I could say it is world weariness, and, and we and we get this way, you know. And uh, and sometimes it just helps to say it. Um, and now here we're going into you know several months of COVID and probably another um, you know shutdown. We've got the uh, the the, uh, the the American election uh, south of the border, which is causing all kinds of anxiety, and we're just kind of waiting for things to move on. And, and it's a period of waiting, and uh, but there's a weariness that goes with it. And sometimes it's just nice to sing it, right? And so it's um it's not a happy song, but it's a it's um it's a beautiful song. It's Bruce Coburn, um, "Pace in the Cage." Sunset is an angel weeping Holding out a bloody sword No matter how I squint I cannot Make out what it's pointing toward Sometimes you feel you've lived too long The day slowly on the page and you catch yourself pacing the cage I've proven who I am so many times the magnetic strips worn thin Each time I was someone else But everyone was taken in Powers chatter in high places And stir up eddies in the dust of rage Set me to pacing the cage I 
never knew what you all wanted So I gave you everything All that I could pillage And all the spells that I could sing It's as if the thing were written In the constitution of the age Sooner or later you catch yourself Pace in the cage Sometimes the best map will not guide you You can't see what's round the bend Sometimes the road leads to dark places Sometimes the darkness is your friend Today these eyes scan bleached outlands For the coming of the outbound stage in the cage hmm. what a gorgeous song eh ah hey okay glad to sing it I, I, I love that song so much okay um one more, and then I'm going to introduce you to a friend of mine. Um, we're, start, we're starting to realize we can bring on guests and uh, through Zoom, and it's not a musical guest; it's a friend. Um, uh, today is World uh, Food Day, and um, uh, and I'm going to bring on someone to talk about it a little bit. I'll just take a minute, but um, before I do that, I'll just do one more song for you. Um, this is um, from Psalm 62, um, called "Wait Alone in Stillness." On God alone my soul in stillness waits The glory and the joy of my salvation The rock on which all form of fury breaks My stronghold so that I will not be shaken Wait alone in stillness, O oh my soul Wait alone in stillness, wait alone the steadfast love of God be all my strength, my refuge, my hope, and my elation. The enemies of love in vain rehearse a plot to undermine the hope of nations. With tongues they bless, but with their hearts they curse. They lie in wait to bait love's termination. But wait alone in stillness, oh my soul. Wait alone in stillness, wait alone, oh my soul. The steadfast love of God be all our strength, our refuge, our hope, and our elation. Of the earth are but a breath on the scales we are lighter than a feather I believe and I have heard it said all power belongs to God all together wait alone in stillness oh my soul wait alone in stillness wait alone the steadfast love of God be all our strength, our refuge, our hope, and our elation. 
生。Okay, thank you. I got one. I have one more song、uh, to do for you.、Um, but before we do it, I want to introduce you to someone.、Um, uh, several years ago,、um, at the mid two thousand, maybe two thousand six or so, my wife Nancy and I、um, went on a trip over to Ethiopia、um, with the Canadian Food Grains Bank to see some of the work that they do there.、Um, so this is a Canadian Food Grains Bank is a, is a is a is a coalition of, of churches and.、Um, Different Christian organizations、um, to combat um, uh, world hunger、uh, through various means. They're a very nuanced organization, and so we went to see some of their their work and their sites, so we could come back and talk about them and promote their their work a bit.、Uh, James Cornelson is a buddy of mine. He's there right now. He's、um, he's their public relations manager, and he just sent me a message early in the week and said, "You know that Friday is World Food Day."、Uh, food Day. I went ah okay, so we have to have them on. So、um, rather than me try to tell you about what World Food Day is、um, or the Canadian Food Grains Bank, I thought let's get him on on Zoom and and、uh, he can tell you. So here's my friend James. Hello, James. How are you? Good. How are you, Steve? Good. You're looking good. Well, thanks. Just you know, this is my office, and、uh, what can I say? <laughs> <Nice> . <laughs>、yeah. This is mine.、Uh, that's、uh, hey, Dave. You you know Dave Zaglinski. Oh, hi Dave. Stay out of the way. <laughs> um, hey, listen, you're you you messaged me on Facebook、um, just a few days ago, and 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 to remind me that、um, today is、uh, World Food Day, and、uh, I thought I should mention it during my my little noon concert here, and、um, and I was going to explain it to people, but since it's kind of your your area, I thought maybe it'd be nice to have you tell us、um, about the day, and then about、um, where you work. Uh, Canadian Food Grains Bank, who they are, and how people might be able to respond. So let's start with the for what 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 is World Food Day, and and、uh, why does it matter to us? World Food Day is、uh, an internationally observed day that's set in our calendars to raise awareness about hunger and food security around the world, and、uh, so we take advantage of that to talk about how many hungry people there are around the world, and why there's hunger, and what we can do about it. Right. To,、uh, explain it really quickly. Um, I mean, because when I first heard the term uh, uh, food security, it just wasn't really quite obvious. I mean, not, now that I know what it means, it's quite obvious. But、uh, what what is food security? Simple definition that helps people understand what hunger is. Because when you think about it, hunger is actually not that easy to understand necessarily. We think about people not going going without enough food, which is a real issue of hunger. But food security is basically when all people. Have regular access to enough nutritious food to lead healthy and active lives. So you have both the idea that they they're getting it regularly, but also access means you're either growing it yourself or you're able to buy it and buy enough nutritious food so that you can lead a decent life. Right. Right. Okay. So that yeah. Okay. Got it. So do you, I I didn't ask you in advance for these stats, but like how do you know roughly how many people in the world currently do not have Food security. So right now we are looking at about 690 million people around the world who do not get enough to eat, and、mm. we often talked about good news is that we were bringing those numbers down. But right now, over the last three years, we've seen、um, steady increases, and most of that、okay. is due to conflict, protracted conflicts, long-term conflicts like in Syria and South Sudan, but also climate change is having a very big impact that's been identified.、Mm. So people who are growing their own food, I know in Canada that isn't necessarily the case that we have that many people depending on agriculture for their livelihood. But for people around the world, a lot of them are actually growing their own food, and they're having a lot more difficult times about that. So conflict, climate change are big drivers. But of course, in the last year, now we have COVID as、oh. another driver of those increases, and we're probably going to、mm-hmm. see that that economic impact, that that access to food impact. Well into 2021 and probably、mm-hmm. beyond, so it's having a big impact at all. And so our organization has been responding to that. Tell us about your organization, Canadian Food Grains Bank. Now, just for 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 watchers and my 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 viewers, there's I mean there's there's tons of wonderful organizations that are doing food relief and、uh, development work and partnerships and all this, you know. But I know you guys, 
and uh, I've traveled with you. I've seen some of your sites in Ethiopia and India and Bangladesh. My wife and I went over there um, several years ago. Um, so I know, but tell, tell us who Canadian Food Grains Bank is and then uh, let us know how, how we can help. Well, that's one of the reasons I messaged you on Facebook, uh, Steve, because we know you are one of our champions. And so yes. I knew you'd answer the call. Thanks. Uh, and yes, the organization is a network of 15 church member agencies. So people may know about MCC, Mennonite Central Committee, or the Anglicans are a part of it, Catholics, the Evangelical Relief and Development Organizations. It represents about 30 of the denominations in Canada. Mm. It's a big network and, of course, a network of partners around the world who know the language and the culture of a certain area. So that network allows us to tap into human resources around the world. And we, um, yeah, so we've been, since 1983, so we're, we're, we've, been, we've been hard at work at this. And of course, uh, need to mention the fact that we get um, huge support from Global Affairs Canada. So that's through the government of Canada. They put a lot of trust in the work that we do around the world and they have continued to do that to this day. Are, are, are donations matched government? Is there, is there match grants with the government? Yep, there's matching donations for different donations. types of projects. People know mostly about our food assistance programming, which gets four to one matching uh, at, when it's programmed around the world. And also we've got other um, three to one matching. So there's different matching types of grants, mm -hmm. but that's the general idea is that this is amplified. And I think it's important to note that these members, when they come to the Food Greens Bank, this is where they check their theology at the door. They come together and they also build off one another. So you've yeah. got members working together in projects in Syria or South Sudan or, or in other areas where maybe one member doesn't have partners. So the other member has a partner and, and all of a sudden pretty soon they're working together, not just that government money, but also that they're pooling their own resources as a network. Yeah. It's exciting. That's fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, thanks. Um, uh, how do people um, donate to you guys? Or through you, sorry, not to you guys, through you, so, you folks. Yeah, so World Food Day, it's a, it's, it, the reason we talk about a hunger awareness and education is because we want people to donate. Yes, absolutely. So going to our website, foodgreensbank.ca, you'll find quick links to donate there, and, and you'll see some of our programming around COVID-19, uh, but also some of the other ways in which you can donate and we also taught, use this day to talk about what are the barriers. So we always ask, you know, if you're interested in knowing why people are hungry, that's the next step to go a little deeper. Yeah. And I yeah. think once we start to identify those kinds of questions, why are people hungry around the world? Mm -hmm. Then it starts to identify what are the barriers? And so we encourage people to donate, to be generous. I think Canadians do that and they have yeah. been doing that for our organization. Our donations have been actually up during this time. But we also ask people to use their voice and um, find ways to remove those barriers. So mm -hmm. what are the barriers that are, are there to have people that they can't provide food for themselves? What are those reasons? So one of the things we do is we ask people to advocate. And we have an e-postcard. I think I'll share a link with you at some point, And maybe okay. you can share that with your followers. Yeah, we'll and put it up. That's a small way that people can just let their elected officials know they care about this and that we can work on other levels to try and reduce hunger, both in Canada, but also around the world. Okay, thank you. We'll get those, uh, those links up uh, so folks can, can respond. Nice to see you. Good to see you too. Thanks for being a champion on hunger and Steve. Uh, well, I, I, I'm looking forward to the next time we can sit over a coffee table. Yeah, oh, uh, that'll okay. be good. Yeah. yeah, thanks so much. Okay, take care. Thank you, James. Um, that was helpful. Very, very helpful. Um, James, by the way, is also a guitar player and, and, and singer-songwriter. Um, and uh, I've, I've known him for, for quite a few years. And he also happens to be Mike Jansen's uh, brother-in-law. Um, and some of you know Mike Jansen, who is my piano player. Um, and so there's a connection there as well. Um, so wonderful, wonderful person. Uh, wonderful organization. If you want to donate, and I, and I hope you will, um, uh, you can go to foodgrainsbank.ca. Um, they also have this. I think it's already come up already in, in while the Zoom thing was on. But um, uh, if you want to do some advocacy work, there's an e-postcard you can send. There's a there should be a URL there that you can check out. Um, you know what? When we think about giving, uh, like we talk about food security, um, and most Canadians don't really understand that term because we don't we don't know that we don't know what food insecurity is. I remember I had to ask, what, what is this thing called food security? I've never known food insecurity. Um, 
uh, do yourself a favor. Go online, and uh, I think I wrote this down somewhere. Yeah, go to lovefoodhatewaste.ca. And it's a, a, a website dedicated to uh, teaching us and informing us how much food we waste. And you know you're food secure when you can waste as much food as we waste. Uh, the stats are that the average um, Canadian family uh, wastes about $1,100 worth of edible food a year. Um, and we don't even think about it. And it's because we overbuy and we make meals that are too big and throw half of it away. Or if we store it, we don't store it properly. And if we store it properly, we leave it in the fridge too long until it rots. This just, you know, and just making a, a commitment to not wasting food could, could bring you $1,100 a year, roughly. You know, and if that's $1,100 you could give to other people, uh, like the Food Grains Bank. Um, so I, I, I know for myself and my wife, who is very, very um, uh, careful about food uh, management in her home, right, that, um, that it's important not only to help um, others uh, with our excess resources, but also not to waste resources. So that's there for you. Check it out. It's a really fascinating, lovefoodhatewaste.ca. It's a really informative um, uh, website, also uh, foodgrainsbank.ca, lots of information there about food issues. There's essays, there's worship resources, there's ways you can help. Um, and go back uh, regularly and, and, and check it and, and have it inspire you to be part of, of um, working towards a different uh, uh, world. So um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close with one song. I thought I was going to sing this for you. Um, I, I wrote this with my friend Glenn Soderholm after Nancy and I came back from Ethiopia, and I wrote it in response to the trip. Um, and I just remembered yesterday um, that, um, that it was turned into a video um, that used film footage from that trip um, that was shot by um, uh, film producer Larry Thiessen, who put the, the video together. So I think I'm going to, sh- rather than sing it for you, I'll show you the video. It's a music video, uh, so it's the song and some beautiful, beautiful film footage from the, from the trip to Ethiopia. It's pretty inspiring. So... Um, We'll see you in a couple of weeks. Um, Thanks for joining. Um, God bless. I have loved These are the ones
words I have called my own. These are the priests of a sacred These are the ones, these are the ones I Respect for Christ. 